Hi, this is Rick, and this is Burn After Reading. Um, this is going to be another short one. Again, we're just going to get to brass tacks here. Um, what I saw this morning as I was checking things out very much disappoint me. Uh, Zav Girl had a panel show in which she had Ryan Upchurch as a guest, um, which I find to be highly irresponsible. But Jared from Adventures with Purpose was also on. And while he said he never met Ryan Upchurch, you know, he thanked him for all the, you know, waves of people that came, you know, to his channel. And I'm sure um, donated some money. I don't know if Jared understands what's going on with Ryan Upchurch. And so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Um, but he wants to connect with him, hook up for whatever reason. And Jared, I really appreciate what you guys do and what you do for families. But do not sell your soul for money from a guy who has falsely accused other people of murder, who has accused Kylie Riley of not being a real person. This guy has made many different conflicting um accusations and people still want to hook up with this guy because he's famous and he has money what a weird weird world we live in i mean honestly i shouldn't be that surprised i see what hollywood celebrities did in the west memphis 3 case and they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about sorry i know that's not a popular opinion but it's true And now Ryan Upchurch has a new video, and I think he's trying to insinuate something with Kylie Rodney's dad. However, I will leave it to Ryan Upchurch to clarify that. I'm going to play the video. You see what he, what you think he's trying to get at. But my God, Kylie Rodney's grandfather made it pretty clear that what Ryan Upchurch has done has hurt the family. Does anyone give a shit about that? And right now, Kylie's mom, I mean, she's basically off the grid just trying to grieve and trying to deal with this. And this is what we have. So I guess Ryan Upchurch isn't going to stop. And of course, when we have enablers like Zav Girl and Jared wanting to hook up with him. I guess this stuff isn't going to stop. This is just going to keep in enabling him until honestly, hopefully I hope the family sues the shit out of him for everything he's got every single fucking thing. This is not entertainment. This is not a game of clue. I swear this true, this true crime community is it's toxic. It's, I mean, and again, it's not a surprise to me, but it just seems like, can we have some cases where we can just treat it ethically and with respect? And let me say something else. I'm not an armchair detective. That's not what I do. I'm not here to say it's this, it's that, it's this and that. Now I can look at case files in a court thing. I could do that. I can, I can report. That's what I can do, but I don't make armchair or web sleuthing predictions because I understand that's I'm not qualified and most likely neither are you and yes you can point to one rare example but they are normally the exception and not the rule leave it to the qualified people to do that job those are the ones who make the arrest those are the ones that charge those are the ones that go into court and convict leave it up to them is it a perfect system no, it's not. But it's better than the damn internet guessing that is going on. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. And Zav Girl, you... I mean, what is it? Is it the click so that you can get the money is that what it is look i'm not trying to accuse you but you have to understand from my perspective how this looks to me 
I mean, are you not aware with what he's done? We're just going to... The cyberbullying that happened to Zanime, the false accusations with Ronnie and with Ictmail, the uh, roasting that Ryan has done to people like Cinema Shogun. That's cool with you? You're good with that? Or are you going to hide behind, well, I don't necessarily have to agree, but you know, I respect Ryan's opinion. If that's the case, you are what's wrong with true crime and this true crime community and true crime podcasters and true crime YouTube content creators. You're what's wrong. Anyways, I hope the next episode isn't going to be about more crap like this. I'd rather move on from it. Honestly, I would. Um, I want to be cautiously optimistic, but it's hard not to be cynical. Unfortunately, I think this stuff is going to get worse before it gets better. Anyways, until next time. she was put in there and uh, some of the people that we might have seen on the news were involved with it.